Um, so I can't answer the typical day anymore because I haven't had a typical day of work in about uh, nine months. Um, I can sort of separate it into like pre-COVID, COVID, and hopefully what post-COVID might look like. Um, before, you know, kind of before, it, everything sort of falls into the same buckets, right? So a typical day is like collecting data. Like what is it that, um, what is it that I'm seeing? So like I pull report cards, I look at curriculum, I look at, I wander around the building, take a look at like what classes are kids attending, I, I'll observe a classroom. And that's just sort of collecting all the data at, that I can see in the school. So what is, again, that looks different in the pre-COVID and, and post-COVID world, but I, but that's essentially the, the first beginning. Like what is it that my kids are experiencing? What is it that, that I believe is happening? Collect as much as I can. Um, the second part of it is looking at it with my team, right? So I don't pretend to know everything. And the, the, the second I figure it out, then I shut it down and write a book and go on tour, right? So I have my team of folks who are smarter than me in the ways they need to be smarter than me in. And just review all the data. So like my APs go with me to look at classrooms. And so we'll look at together. So, okay, what did you see? And what did, uh, what do we think are the next steps? Um, I have some teacher leaders who they'll look at um, student work and they'll look at like what the teachers assigned. Now in the COVID world, we're looking at Google Classroom and observing like the Zoom sessions and the Meet sessions. Um, and so that, and so that's part of it. So kind of looking at the data, kind of have a review and like what do we want to do? And then we pick something to move on. Um, so what's the what's the move based on what we see? And then check to see what's uh, check to see if that move had any impact on anything. So, you know, kind of more recently, what we've been looking at is all the stuff that we tried to do in person and now trying to do online, is any of it aligned, right? So when a kid, line, when a kid logs onto his math class and his science class and his social studies class, is he having like an experience that makes sense, right? So is the teacher asking them to do 20 homework assignments and do, and do a project in this one? Meanwhile, in the other class, he has two classwork things and just has to click a survey, right? So like, what are the things that, um, you know, and so that's, that's most of the day. And so it's, my calendar is pretty much open. Like I can choose what I'm gonna do all day. Um, and so nobody's telling me you have to go see this class at this time, nobody's telling me whatever. Um, and so it's really just thinking about like having a strategy. Like if I think, I think it's important to see what kids are doing, so I need to make my calendar look like most of my days in classes or most of my class, most of my days looking at curriculum um, because, because I, that's what I think is important. When I'm in the building, I spend a lot of time like at scanning, like when kids come into the building, I'll sit there and watch how kids come into the building um, because I think it's important to see like how are kids greeted, if a kid is upset, if a kid is uh, going through something downstairs, how is the school safety agent, how are, you know, How's everybody greeting him? And then things like that. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.